Um, I'm disappointed with the with the result, and we missed a chance today um, to uh, to win points. Um, in general, I think we started quite well into this uh, into this game and were totally on the front foot in the first uh, 20 minutes and dominated this game, created many chances. But I was not uh, was not happy with our physicality in the final third because uh, when you are that dominant uh, in the in the start of the game and create so many good situations, then you also have to reward yourself with with scoring a goal or at least creating even even more chances out of your dominance. But I think we lost too many offensive duels in the in the. Yeah, most important area on the in the field in the in the in the final third, and it's more like we got our lesson um, with the one 0 It was more or less the first time that uh, Wolverhampton was was in our half, and we had a six against two overload in, in our own box, and uh, there two offensive players were able uh, out of this situation to 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 score a goal. Uh, although we were six against two in the overload in the in the box, and. Um, so I think in, in both directions today we, we lacked a bit of physicality and also like uh, in terms of, of, of body tension and sharpness really like to, 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 to win the offensive uh, duels and uh, yeah, second goal if I'm honest was more or less uh, the same topic yeah we cleared the penalty uh, the, the set piece in the, in the first phase and the second phase three of their offensive players are greedy to score the goal brought their bodies uh, to this position close to the line I think three or three players of Wolverhampton could have scored the second goal and we were not switched on in order to drop back to, to protect our own goal so I think uh, in both directions we missed today um, uh, really physicality and, and sharpness and body tension in order, in order to be effective yeah? because this is crucial it's, I think I can't accuse my, my lads about attitude our, our tactical approach was good our 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 uh, playing philosophy everything was good we dominated this game but then it's also like you have to be there unbelievably sharp and also with body tension and, and really with physicality in order to win the crucial duels in the in the final third uh, of the opponent uh, but also in, in your own box and yeah the third goal was uh, was again a role model yeah? unnecessary loss of the ball because we, we lacked in order to, to play with two touches yeah? anyhow a bit, bit too soft this loss of the ball but we had also three times a chance to, to win the duel to, to, to gain possession back yeah, and their offensive players were able to win the one against one duels and, and were able to score and this is what we what we lack today I would say in both directions but you can explain it perhaps a, a bit in our in, uh, in our back four because uh, of course it's not easy when we looked unbelievably solid in terms of defending in the recent weeks um, and then you have to change two times because of injuries in the, in the back four of course it didn't help and we had to bring uh, two players in uh, Ben Godfrey just had 60 minutes since last 10 weeks uh, Jamal Lewis was not in the starting lineup 10 since uh, uh, also more or less in the uh, in the league at least since 10 or 11 games of course they are not in their rhythm and it didn't help them that uh, that much and if you would have choose you would have brought both uh, both in but be, uh, in terms because of injuries we had to do this and uh, no accusements to them so they needed this game in order to to gain a bit of rhythm and and um, back and also a few minutes back, so we couldn't change the situation. I was more annoyed, like with our lack of physicality in, uh, in the opponent's half, and for that, um, yeah, that's definitely a topic we we need to improve in in order to to win more points. A lack of physicality has been a recurring thing this season. Do you think you're, do you think it's there and it just hasn't been shown, or do you think you have to have different personnel? To well, in general, of course, of course, many teams are there with more physical threats, perhaps on the, on this level, yeah. But because it's it's quite normal, then uh, when you when you can spend uh, twenty or thirty million pounds for an offensive player, anyhow, then you get a player who is uh, who is technically good, who is quick, who is there with with uh, physically. Um, with with all uh, with all qualities that that you need, and if you don't have that much money, you are, you have to you have to be a bit more creative and have to go all your way. And yeah, of course, it uh, sometimes we're lacking a bit in, uh, in this moment, but it also has, and we have proved already that we can score goals and we can can score more goals. It's also like to bring yourself mentally into such a, a situation that that you are really sharp and also there was a good body language and a good body tension. And this is definitely uh, definitely um, a topic where we have to be self critical because in terms of being that switch on in, in this moment so um i can't um, i can't avoid that uh, i have to accuse a bit my offensive players today that we were not able to to win enough um, offensive duels was that almost the story of your season today you play well you look good you played the football well and then just at vital times in both areas you're lacking a little bit 
Yes, but uh, I'm far away from from closing the book of this season uh, already. Yeah, of course, it was like our approach was good, our our, uh, our dominance in the in the first period was good, and of course, when you concede, then although you're dominant two goals and you're two nil back against a side who's probably one of uh, the best sides in terms of being structured, in terms of um, defending. Yeah, we know that they are. Meanwhile, with this game here, with four clean sheets in a row. Uh, in the row, of course, it's then not easy to 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 go for the on with the with the belief and um, yeah, I think we we lost then a bit a bit also our patience in the build up because we played sometimes in their pressing and they were able then to be there with with quick counter attacks. I was pleased with the reaction after the three 0 because if you're then three 0 back here and against such a side who is that good in counter attacking and 3-0 up then sometimes you can be punished a lot and I was pleased at least how we handled then the last 30 minutes and that we didn't concede concede more and it says a lot about the character and the attitude of my team but um, definitely we need we need to, to add more physicality and, and in terms of, of being clinical also and in terms of winning the offense uh, the, the offensive duels uh, when we want to win more points that's definitely the task also for the next weeks Is that lack of physicality more surprising because you know you knew what big opportunity this was for you today and you could say maybe some of the results weren't for yesterday as well. So you're going into the game knowing this is a really big opportunity. It was a big oppor- uh, opportunity without uh, without any doubt today, uh, because uh, not so much because of the other results, but. If if we are there with such a performance, then we have the chance to give ourselves the chance to to win points, even away in a difficult away team. But then it's more like you you have to sense a bit. Okay, it's a big chance, and and you have to you have to give your life in each and every duel. And I didn't have the feeling I was saying I got the feeling so sometimes we were a bit a bit a bit soft, a bit scared anyhow when we were in a one against one duel against of course a physical threat like like Boli or Sass or whatever. Of course, it's not easy to to keep the ball and to win the duels, but yeah, you need to you need to be convinced and also like like not scared, more like really greedy in order to win this duels and and unbelievably sharp. And uh, I think we lacked this today a bit, and for that uh, I am disappointed with this fact. Yes, I mean, you touched on your offensive players. You felt they could have done more um, in general playing now. That's quite a long time when you haven't scored a goal. How big a concern is that for you that you're not looking that productive in open play? Yes, it's of course a concern because goals are changing changing games. We we could realize this uh, today. So I think after 20 minutes, uh, everyone here in the stadium was a bit annoyed already because we were dominating uh, do- dominating this game. Yeah, but then if you score two goals, everyone is celebrating, dancing on the table. Then the self confidence of the team is growing, and everyone uh, speaks about okay, that was a great day. We scored three goals, another clean sheet, and a great win. Of course, goals are changing games, and for that, we need definitely this cutting edge, and it's uh, it will be the 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 big task, the big question also for the um, for the following week. So we will just be able to win uh, enough points to to earn the right to stay in this league. Yeah, if we add this physicality and also this brutality and also like this mentality in the up front, not to be uh, just happy when we are there playing some nice passes and beautiful football, but also like to be unbelievably greedy to 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 bring this ball into this rectangle. And I think in, in this terms we need, we need to step up in order to give ourselves a chance to to win more points. In order to do that, I know it's straight after the game and you will have to reflect and, and go through this game, but do you feel you might need to shake up a little bit in terms of the personnel? You've been very loyal. There's not been too many changes to your starting eleven unless there's been a suspension or an injury. But do you feel now it's probably reached the stage you might need to try one or two different personnel? Well, definitely, we are looking always under each and every each and every stone uh, to do this. Uh, but uh, if you're honest, so it's not like we have probably one of the smallest groups uh, on Premier League level. It's not like I have five strikers available and five wingers available and five number tens. It's, it's also important that to 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 back the players, and not to lose the nerves, and not to accuse them because they always leave their heart on the pitch, out on the pitch. So it's it's not like I'm standing here and and punish my players. No, I will back them. But we sometimes we also have to be a bit self-critical for us and don't feel sorry for ourselves sometimes. We also have to be be honest and say, okay, listen, we can be there with a different body language with a better uh, body tension, and, and the players have proved uh, so far already that they're capable to to create chances, that they're capable to to score goals, and I think uh, in this terms, especially uh, each and every player today has to be also self-critical um, in order that we have to step in, up in this area. So it's it's not a chance uh, that we can bring uh, right now in more quality players. So if we would have had the chance to do this in, in financial um, terms, would have done this in, in January. But um, yeah, of course, it's not that easy. Our, our striker option today was not involved. Was um, 18 year, meanwhile, since a few days, 19 year old striker with 
uh, one uh, one um, uh, appearance in the, in the Premier League so far. So for that, I, I back my players and everything's okay. But if we want to give us uh, ourselves a chance, we know that we have to step up and uh, this will be the task for the next weeks. Well, for me, uh, any update injury-wise on Onel? And obviously no Zimmerman today. What are they looking like in terms of problems? Yes, with uh, Christoph, it's, it's a muscle strain and it's still also doubtful uh, if he's available for the for the Leicester game, so I can't predict it uh, today. Um, of course, it didn't help. Uh, we spoke about uh, Sam Byram, uh, is out of the season. Um, he's out for the whole season with his injury. And with Onel, no final, final update. Uh, it looks like he might need uh, another surgery. That would mean that he's also out for, for a few weeks. Um, but we didn't have the final decision uh, yet, so but I think he will be also out for a bit longer than just for this game today.